Once we've set up for the dumbbell row and we've secured the spine in a nice flat, not too arch, not too rounded position, the next thing that we need to figure out is the rib cage. So we walk around as humans with a lot of asymmetry in our body, right? Your liver is on the right side. You don't have a liver on the left side. You have a tiny little two pound spleen and you have a giant like five pound liver on the right side we walk around asymmetrically and that's normal. But what you need to learn is that if I'm moving, the skeleton isn't really that asymmetrical. So I don't want the skeleton to move asymmetrically if I'm looking to optimize my long-term growth with training. So this is never more apparent than with the rib cage. So the, the rib cage likes to get really big on one side and really short on another side. You might see somebody's posture with a, a nice slouched shoulder on one side. That's just telling me that your rib cage is not very symmetrical. And again, that's normal, but we want to focus on that, right? As, as I'm rowing, I want to use my row as a way to treat that. And I want to make sure that is uh, set in a nice, mostly symmetrical way while I'm doing my row. Again, if I'm practicing a lift and I do it incorrectly, then I'm practicing how to do it incorrectly. So I wanna prioritize this technique. With the rib cage, especially with the, um, the supported dumbbell row that we're talking about here, I just want to make sure each side looks pretty much the same. And so what you'll commonly see is that the right side kind of crunches together a little bit more and the left side opens up a little bit more, regardless of what hand is doing the rowing, regardless of whether you're left handed or right handed. So keep an eye out for that. If it, that's not the case for you, which might be true, look at it some other way, right? I still just want each side to look kind of similar. So when I'm on the bench and I'm supported, I wanna put that knee on the bench, I wanna put that hand on the bench, and I want those abs on that side to kinda of turn on. I wanna kinda of side bend to that side. I wanna, you know how a salamander walks? It kinda of like bends its back like this. I want to bend that way to secure my midsection, my rib cage, stabilize my rib cage with my abdominal muscles. And just as importantly, I need to actively reach with that support hand. That way I'm not just flopping down toward the bench, <clears throat> I'm actually holding myself up. I'm stabilizing not only the spine that we talked about, but the rib cage that we're talking about now. And then I can really direct my force up through the bench, up from the ground, through my body and into the weight.